Hi there, Great Wood. Looks like a great afternoon to make a bird hide. Follow me, Great Wooders. I'm going to start showing you how we've made sure we've got some birds to watch. Simple bird feeders topped up with good quality wild bird seed that I clean every week. Birds go nutty for these peanuts. And the biggest hit of the week, the black sunflower seeds. I need to top them up. And I'm also put some mealworms and some fruit on here for those table feeders. So look, we've also put the feeder close to the kitchen window. So we get a little treat every morning when we're making our tea and the birds get used to a bit of movement. And I've also found that keeping it quite close to the edge of the garden encourages those nervous birds to hop in and out. Come over here, we've got some different feeders going on. Here's a multi-layered feeder, quite high up on the fence to encourage finches. It's filled with sunflower hearts. Looks like it needs filling. And I also like to sprinkle a bit on this handy cover to attract your ground feeders, but not too much because I only want to attract the birds. And here's our final feeder, filled with niger seed, a finch favourite. If you're new to feeding the birds, it's going to take at least five days for word to get around the bird kingdom that there are new feeders out. But once it does, they're going to start flocking and you've got to keep topping up those feeders because they're going to rely on it. And I'm going to resist the need to mow this lawn because there are still loads of great natural seeds out that the birds love. So where do you want this hide to be? I hear you all ask. The answer is right here in the middle of all the bird action. Close, but not too close to the feeders. We don't want to scare them off. So we're going to head to the Greatwood Clubhouse to design our bird hide. So here we are. Let's get cracking. A good drawing helps us think everything out. It's time to make it. So it's time to get outside and start collecting everything. But first, we gotta make sure we got everything. String to tie the sticks together and for the webbing. Scissors to cut the string. Tools to help us gather sticks and leaves. You might need a grown-up to guide you with these. Gloves to protect your hands when you're out collecting. Let's hit the woods. The Great Wood Pond's coming along nicely. Can you keep up? We're looking to tidy up the dead sticks on the ground. We don't need to be chopping the new stuff. That'll do nicely. Bingo! Boat shall pass! Looks like it's time for a swing break. Great word! Woo! 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 Let's go deeper into the woods. Aha! You get out what you put in. We've nearly got enough great wooders. Now I need to make sure that this is the right size to hide in. If I need to make them smaller, they should be dead so I can snap them. Or I can saw it with a tool like this lopper saw. But remember, you might need a grown up and always protect your hands. And I'm also gonna snap or saw off any sneaky little bits that might poke me in the eye. Good boy. Now we're going to have to put you out the back because we want those birds to turn up. So it's time to collect some leaves. So 
Target spotted. There's a hazel down here that's overhanging. I'm going to carefully prune this tree with these secateurs and, of course, protective gloves. <laughs> So we got the sticks and the leaves. And don't forget the string. Let's get to it. I'm gonna break a length of string. Bundle up the sticks. Make sure they line up. Tie a simple knot near the top around one stick. And remember to tie it off at the end. Now let's see if it stands up. Now, let's make sure before we finish it that we can still get inside and see the birds. Now let's create the web that will keep the leaves on the sticks. As we create the web, loop it round sticks and notches to make sure it doesn't slip. Remember to tie it off at the end. When you're done, make sure your web is fairly tight and you leave a hole to get in. So I'm just going to go round and tuck everything in because I don't want it to blow away. And I'm going to make sure that there are no obvious holes because I don't want them to see me in there. Just going to finish it by making sure there's some holes that I can see through. And I don't want to make these too big again so I can't be seen. Just big enough for a pair of these. There we go, great wooders. Great work. Your natural bird hide is done. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more outdoor fun and adventure. I'm going to leave this hide for a couple of days to let the birds get used to it but then we'll update you on what turns up. Also, find us on Facebook for more regular updates from the Great Wood Grounds. Links in the description. Thank you very much for watching this video. Get Great Wooding!